Okay, Jake is going to be the target. Jake, <laughs> put your hand at 15 inches right there. Don't okay. move it. Yep. And stay still. He's the <laughs> target, okay? We want to take a, a piece of conduit and run it alongside the table and up, and the end of the pipe has to hit the bottom of his hand, 15 inches. So I have to deduct five inches for the radius of the bend. So 15 minus five is? Ten. So I mark <laughs> at 10 inches. And now I'm gonna use the arrow for this, the arrow. Once I get a bite on the pipe, I don't let go. I've got a little bite on the pipe, the arrow's lined up. Remember what I told you, once your foot is on here, you don't take it off, and you keep bending, and I see the bubble is right in the middle, but if I let go, there's a little spring back. Looks good though. That is a good 90 degree bend. There's our target at 15 inches. Let's say that I need from the back of this bend to the back of the next bend, let's say 24 inches, two feet. Each one of these squares is a foot. That means if I do this right, the first bend will go along one line, and then the next bend will be two squares over. So I need to put a mark 24 inches from the back of this bend. I'm using the wall as a reference point and I'm making my mark at two feet. Now I'm gonna not use the arrow, I'm using the star point. <clears throat> Notice how the handle's holding the pipe, because I'm gonna be bending towards the other bend. Yeah, I'll take a little bit more out. Now if you do make a mistake, this looks pretty good, but if you make a mistake and it's crooked, Take your handle as a lever, stand on this with one foot, and now you can shimmy the pipe around and straighten your two bends out. Now, looks like it's right in between two squares for a 24 inch back to back bend. No applause, no nothing. Yeah. Yeah. All right.